I felt like yesterday I had to switch between two different languages. It was 40s and 50s, winds off the bay, keeping us much cooler as that front came right through our area, just sliced us in half. 70 degrees into Fond du Lac. Oshkosh into the upper 60s. It was fantastic out there, you guys. We're here for us going to Green Bay. 51 was our high temperature, 55. It's Appleton, plus that rain ongoing all evening long. We picked up nearly an inch into areas through the Fox Valley, into the blue areas, and about a half an inch into the rest of the area. Now, of course, we are looking at Rising River, still a concern. Wolf River, still above flood stage at 11.3 right now, but the rain, we did need it, especially into our northern areas and down to the south, and we're still abnormal dry. Now here's what's happening today. What is all of this yellow? This is a wind advisory in effect from 10 a.m. until 7 p.m. today. We're going to see those winds get very feisty up to about 45 to 50 miles per hour throughout the afternoon and evening hours. They're going to stay strong overnight and through tomorrow as well. So that's why we're seeing Lake Michigan in a gale warning. It's going to be producing some pretty big waves crashing on shore. And of course, temperatures plummeting. Look at this, anywhere from 15 to 30 degrees cooler than yesterday morning. We're waking up to temperatures a few degrees above freezing into those mid 30s right now. 20s off to the west of us. So we are looking at 20s into the north woods right now. 34 degrees into Green Bay, 35 into Manitowoc. Those winds out of the south, they are sustained up to about 20 miles per hour, gusting to the mid 20s right now, which makes it feel like the teens to mid 20s outside. This is potentially maybe want to grab some gloves kind of weather. Yeah, it's feeling like winter out there, unfortunately, but we'll take the wind chills of the 20s versus single digits off to the Dakotas. So it's still winter into the Midwest. As these two low pressure systems combine today, that's why we're seeing these strong winds as it is just up to the north of us. You can see it spinning and rotating there. A little bit of flurries and a wintry mix rolled through overnight that is cleared out of the area now. We're looking at actually some clear skies. A little bit of snow off into western Wisconsin, though. Light, light flurries, nothing accumulating from that. So we'll see sunshine to start our day. Clouds rolling in by our lunch hour. And then, yeah, we do have a chance for a few flurries to fly around out there. We're not looking at any accumulations today. Don't worry about that, but don't be shocked if you see it. Now, as we go to the weekend, we are going to see a high pressure start to move on in. That means by tomorrow, we'll still see gusty winds winds in the morning will start to calm down by the evening hours. We're still going to be battling some light flurries in the morning, but more and more sunshine creeps in throughout the afternoon. So we're actually going to see a partly sunny day. Today, sunshine's brief in the morning. Highs climbing only to the low to mid 40s, dropping below freezing tonight. But keep in mind with these temperatures in the 40s and the strong winds still continuing, it's feeling more like below freezing for the next two days, even into Saturday as well with a high of just 40 degrees. We're actually going to feel like 45 for Easter Sunday, partly sunny skies, nothing really moving in until late, late Sunday night, Monday morning. We do have a wintry mix that we're tracking there and then another one that wants to creep in on Wednesday, but it is trying to spike our temperatures on Tuesday. We could see a potentially a 50 mixed in there. I'll take that. I'll take that for sure. Yeah. Brittany, thank you. You're welcome.